meant. But let me talk about so-called class warfare, okay? I've been accused of promoting class warfare, okay? So let me be clear. Class warfare goes on in the United States right now. The rich are getting much richer, the poor are getting poorer, and the middle class is disappearing. In the last 30 years, we have seen a shift, a redistribution of wealth to the tune of trillions of dollars that have gone out of the hands of the middle class and working families to the top one-tenth of one percent. The Republican budget, passed a few months ago, gave over $250 billion in tax breaks to the wealthiest two-tenths of one percent, and yet they cut Medicare, they cut Medicaid, they cut health care. That's class warfare. But when you talk about organizing, <laughs> it sounds to me like you're organizing to go to war. Well, not to. We're organizing for politics. What do you think is going on today with Wall Street and the billionaire class and the Koch brothers? They are organized. When the Koch brothers, as a result of this disastrous Citizens United Supreme Court decision, are prepared to spend $900 million in this campaign cycle to elect candidates, Republican candidates who represent the wealthy and the powerful, is that not organized? That's organized when you have super PACs. I'm the only major candidate, or one of the only, who doesn't have a super PAC. I don't want money from billionaires. Dean, in my view, that is organized. So what we have seen for many, many years, in my view, is a massive transfer of wealth from the middle class to the top one-tenth of one percent. You've seen as a result of Citizens United, billionaires able to try to buy elections in this country. I think we've got to fight 